As I arrived at the Seekonk River, I saw some fishermen catch a fish. They told me it was an eight and a half pound striped bass. They were going to release it. The reason the striped bass, that one and many others were around, was because the Menhaden are in town. Along the Seekonk River, these videos are from, you know, the, the 10 feet closest to shore. It was almost low tide and the sun was really hard to, to navigate. It was very bright. The angle wasn't very good. These are the best pictures out of about 30 minutes that I was able to get of Menhaden schools. You can see there's just an amazing number of fish and they range from about two inches to about six inches. One of the things you'll also notice occasionally is that some of them look like they've got wounds on them. The red, and the shredded, and that's exactly what those are. Those are what the, the fish that escaped when the predators hit the school. On a day like this, if the fish are in more than about two or three inches of water, it gets really murky. If you try to zoom in on them, it's like almost impossible to get a good focus. All you get is a lot of blur. Um, these are, you know, I would try to zoom in and, you know, just lose them. But you can see from these that there are amazing numbers of fish. There were schools everywhere. And uh, that they are the basis of the food chain. Menhaden are plankton eaters. And uh, they just filter the water. And everything, everything else around eats Menhaden. found was that if the fish are more than about five feet from shore, the angle shooting into the water meant everything was blurry, especially when they got more than two or three inches deep. So this is um, some of the nice pictures from a very shallow water. about to leave and then there was one more school that was very close to the shore so I zoomed in a bit and we got one last set of pictures before I called it a day and headed for home. Mm -hmm.